guys in this session i am going to show you how to install an ide for running c and c++ programming languages on windows 7 8 and 10 platforms in my pc i am running windows 10 operating system now i prefer div c++ IDE for running C and C++ programming languages. Div C++ is one of the most efficient and popular IDE for running C and C++ programming languages. Now I am going to download it through Google search engine. We were able to see download div c++ 5.11 i'm going to click on it for getting downloaded it is redirected to another page the you are able to see here the download is started div c++ is a file of size 84.1 mb around I am going to cancel it. Why? Because I has already downloaded it. You will get a file like this. Div C++. I am going to double click on it. The installation gets started. After unpacking the Div C++. Here you are able to see unpacking of data. After unpacking the installation gets started. Div C++ supports many languages like French, Dutch, Chinese, etc. I am going to choose English as my preferred language. And here are the terms and conditions of a license agreement by Bloodshell Div C++ distributors. Here is the some of the checkboxes for the options you have to select uh, for the language options icons shortcut files creation and the libraries associated with c and c++ okay i'm keeping uh, as it is i'm not going to change anything and i'm clicking the next button and here it is the preferred path where to install dvc++ in um, c drive programming files i prefer to install here itself and now i'm not going to change it if you are interested you can browse and change the file location after that i am get started installation by clicking next it will take around one minute for installation of dc plus plus After completing installation, here is a checkbox to run Div C++ 5.11. Now I am going to run it. We'll check out the first program, uh, a sample program to run on Div C++ editor. Okay, here it is asking for the customization of the language once again here, and the fonts customization over here, and the color theme, and the icons look. I'm not going to change it we can change it in the id also later okay in the file i'm going to select the source file new file and i'm going to type a small c program for hello world It automatically supports the indentation.
now let us execute it we can execute by selecting execute menu and that we are having the option compile and run or by the shortcut key f11 over here on the keyboard first of all we have to save it i'm going to save it on desktop in the name of hello dot c here we got executed and get output okay thank you for watching this video